Well, hi there guys and welcome today to something rather special. I have a Honda NS250R review and um, this is a 1984. Um, these are worth around about £5,000 now. It's a two-stroke V-twin, uh, weighs around about 150 kilos and um, around about 45 horsepower. Um, this is a Japanese import, so it's a kilometres an hour speedo. But it's it's a really you know it's for, for its for its year when you think it's like you know nearly sort of 40 years old. It's an incredible piece of engineering from Honda. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take it for a little ride and see how she goes. So very very light 150 kilos and I'm totally flat footed on it um, we have a fuel tap which I've got on on obviously kickstarter on these so let's see how this goes should be fun first go wow memories of being 18 again <laughs> on an RD350 all right let's try this out so a very nice light clutch so two strokes are renowned for being pretty peaky. You know, they produce their power at the top end. They're not like four strokes with lots of power down low. Here we go. Lots of clutch slip. Here she goes. Six, seven, and it, away we go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, great fun very very smooth engine so you have a separate two-stroke oil chamber which injects the oil into the fuel for lubrication so this one's low miles low kilometers sorry by the look of it 10,000 kilometers the owner said to me that it's all original, hasn't been reboard or anything. Oh, that's fun. You feel like you're doing 100 mile an hour when you're doing about 60. So the mirrors aren't bad. You can see quite a good view behind. It's a very comfortable bike. You sit right into it nice quite a nice relatively high clip-on bars 7,000 oh what a thrill just try the brakes out see what they're like for 40 year old brakes uh, not too bad at all they do the job happy to uh, rev right up into the red there's no uh, no rev limiters on these oh what a lot of fun Just in top gear now. See if it actually will just ride normally. Yeah, I mean, we're doing what 45, 50 mile an hour at the moment. Four and a half thousand revs in top gear. Well, it's great round the corners. So if you open it up, not a lot happens. Nothing at all in top gear. 
So um, that's the thing with a small capacity two stroke, you have to down change if you want to get any progress. Down to third and away we go. Yes, power on this kind of starts at 7,000. It comes in quite smoothly. But what, what an engaging little bike to ride. It's, it's light, fun and frisky and that fantastic noise out the back. is totally addictive but when you think this bike's 40 odd years old you know it must have been amazing in its time machine I say these bikes are real collectors items now you know they're extremely rare all right it's the first gear oh what a little great little machine it's uh, so nice to use every ounce of power. Even the suspension feels, you know, pretty decent for its age. It's very compliant. say it's not an extreme position it's just a nice sort of sports touring position really and revs that's sort of 50 miles an hour very smooth indeed even at peak revs it's it's smooth then my legs are quite scrunched up but on the whole it's a comfortable bike I think it's got a 110 rear and a 100 section on the front so that was kind of standard in those days. Right, let's drop it down a couple of gears for some fun. Five, four, here we go. to get one of these for myself one day absolutely superb I suppose you know it just shows that Hondas are built to last and uh, this being 40 years old
still running really well. So there we are, look, we're showing oh, it's about 60 miles an hour now, six and a half thousand revs. Very, very smooth indeed. That brake's still got a good bit of bite to it. It's just the lightness combined with quite a good little power output that's very peaky makes these bikes terrific fun to ride. Just pulls forever. Great fun. What an absolute blast. here ring ding ding fabulous well I hope you enjoyed that little review on this NS 250R an absolute blast from the past What a noise. Let's take a little look ramp. Turn the fuel off because apparently yeah, that's what you have to do. So there we are guys. <laughs> NS 250R. Have you had something like this in the past? What are your thoughts on two strokes? So that rides really, really well, you know. Suspension's very very good still, it brakes absolutely fine, the engine's fit as a fiddle and um, great fun to ride. And you know for a two-stroke sort of sport it's very comfortable, you know, like the RGV 250 was very uncomfortable. This this isn't, nice decent seat there, quite relatively high clip-ons here. All the clutch, throttle and everything works really nicely, super light to push about. So um, guys, please, I bet you've got lots of comments to write on two strokes. If you would mind posting those down below, give me a like, share and subscribe. And um, let's keep the two stroke passion going. All the best guys, ride safe and bye for now.